Good day everybody. I am making this film today because I am now about two weeks into this YouTube adventure. 100 days, uh, 100 days of 100 videos in case you are new to the channel. If you are, please like and subscribe. That's what all the professional YouTubers say, isn't it? One of the big takeaways I've had from the last two weeks is there's so much to do. So many things to think of. I've got people who I respect every time I put a video out will say, oh no, you should think of this, you should think of that, do this. And it's so much. I feel like there should be a checklist. Probably is somewhere actually, maybe I should have a look. But one of the things I am really keen on improving is my thumbnail work. This video is gonna be about how to make better thumbnails. But I, what I will say is, this is a huge, huge thing in general, making better thumbnails. So I'm gonna take one tiny aspect of it. And someone I trust, someone I know is very good at YouTube, recommended something to me recently. And he said, you should always have a face in your thumbnail. It's good for emotion. It's good for creating that bond and getting clicks and whatever. And I think if you scroll through a lot of the YouTube homepage, subscription page, whatever, you will see that that is true. It's good to have a bit of a face or you know, a human in the picture. And one thing he suggested to me was you could make it a little bit easier for yourself where you have a bank of pictures. And at first I thought it was a bit strange, but actually when he showed me what he meant, I thought that's a genius idea. So what he had was a bank of pictures of his face with different emotions, happiness, sadness, shock. Um, we'll come onto the emotions in a minute. And then what you can do is then you can use those pictures every time you create a thumbnail and it saves you having to think about it in the moment. And you know, it's just having a good resource. It's a very long winded intro, I know. But today's plan is to create a bank of expressions that I can use for my thumbnail. And I'm gonna take you along on the journey to show you how I do it. And you can either be inspired by it, which would be my dream, or alternatively, if it's a load of rubbish, you can tell me how to do it properly. Win-win for me, either way. So, first things first, I am gonna tap into a bit of AI, because everyone's talking about AI, it's easy, right? and I'm gonna find a list of emotions that I need to have in my armory to have all bases covered. So let's do that. That's step one, get the print out. As you can see, we have our 25 starting emotions. And I think stage one is to work through this list and actually think, do you know what? Do I do one for everyone or do I just pick out ones that are, that make sense? So I guess joy, yes. Sadness, yes. Anger, definitely. Fear, definitely. Surprise, definitely. Disgust. Right, I've come across the first problem on this list. I'm not an actor. I have never been trained. I feel a little bit out of my depth here. So, and why that's a problem is because I look at disgust and I look at anger, for example, and they seem like the same emotion to me. So we're gonna have to play it by ear a little bit and kind of do it on the fly as we go, you know? But anyway, let's get back on with the list. Okay, so disgust we will leave in for now. Hope, do you know what? I'm gonna try them all, I think. Let's just check there's none in there. It's definitely not gonna. Gratitude, regret. <laughs> I have a sneaking suspicion they're all gonna look the same. Right, so the plan is, I'm gonna set up everything on this wall here, because then I have a white background, which I can then remove when I'm using my graphic design tool, Canva, if for anyone who's interested. If you're not aware of Canva, where you've been, but I'll leave a link to the description in case you wanna check it out. It makes even idiots like me, who, have nothing, who know nothing about graphic design, seem like semi-competent, so. That's the plan, I'm gonna set up the camera on this wall, I'm gonna stand in front of it. I have two T-shirts. A grey one and a black one. So for those of you who know me, or those of you who have seen my content so far, you will have noticed that I very rarely wear anything different than black or grey t-shirts. I won't go into one on this video. I'm sure you don't care. I don't think of Steve Jobs or who or Zuckerberg or whatever, but it does make life a bit easier. So I'm gonna try and do each emotion, and then I'm gonna do each emotion again in the same different colour shirt. And what that will mean is, hopefully, when I am using these thumbnails in the future, there's a high chance that I will have a thumbnail in black or gray for my day's uniform. Make sense? Okay, let's get onto the practical side of things. Okay, so as you can see, I have my camera set up. I have my ring light set up because I've informed it has to be a well-lit background. It's a plain background, obviously, so I can cut myself out. 
I'm gonna try and frame myself a few times now. The plan is to put it on a timer. We'll see how we go. I've just moved the table out of the way because I think I need a bit more space. This is first attempt. Oh, kind of looks good, but there's a lot of busyness in the background and I think, I don't know if I would just cut my head off and it'd be okay, but maybe we'll go with that to begin with. Right, now we're getting somewhere. Time to start doing it for real. Let's start working through this list. Okay, change of plan. 20 odd emotions is just ridiculous. It's too much. I have asked somebody, Yuri, who helps me out a lot with my YouTube videos. And he says six basic emotions, fear, anger, joy, sadness, disgust, and surprise. I think they will cover most bases and we'll make this a little bit less of a ridiculous video. So that's what we're going for. Let me tell you something right now. If the last 20 minutes or anything to go by with me trying to pull faces about different emotions, there is zero chance I will ever make it onto the big screen. My days of starring in soaps and movies definitely not happening. This is taking unbelievably longer than I thought it was going to. But I think I've just finished with a black t-shirt. So I'm now moving on to the grey t-shirt. Okay, all the pictures done. So now the next job is to upload them all into Canva. Pick the ones I like, pick the ones I don't like. So then I have a bank, and when I've got that, I'll, I'll show you. Okay, so there's no real easy way to say this, but the way I wanted to present this to you and show you what I'd done, I totally bodged up. And unfortunately, I'm kind of running out of time now. This is the perils we have of have, trying to do a vlog every day. So all I ask for you is please accept my apologies. What you see in the next 30 seconds to a minute is not really what I had in my mind but I'm making the best of a bad situation. Sorry. Okay, so first up, all the pictures get added to Canva. Now we remove all the backgrounds, pretty simple one button process. Anyone who's familiar with Canva will know how to do this. If not, there's plenty of great tutorials on YouTube for you to check out. And finally, it's simply a case of resizing and cropping everything so that you get a good clear picture. And then once you've done that, you save it as a PNG with a transparent background and you can use it anywhere you want. You can crop it again in another picture. And I will show you some examples now of why this is a great thing to do. So I just pulled a few images off Canva to prove how this works. And obviously when I'm doing my own videos, I can use my own um, scenes, but just in the interest of speed and time, I pulled a few images off Canva so you can see how this works. So first up, you can see the sad face at a cemetery, and then the scared face at a haunted house. And then I, I this is my, <laughs> believe it or not, this is my confused face at this tough maths equation. And this is something a little bit arty. Do I go left, right? I don't know, I think about it. But hopefully what this has shown you is with a little bit of organization and a little bit of a plan, which I'd seem to have neither today, you can kind of come up with something that can shortcut your thumbnails. And I know there's a million other things you need to do in your thumbnails, but one of the challenges I'm facing doing this daily video making is there's so much to do. So if there's anything I can do in the meantime to uh, shortcut the process or make it a little bit quicker, I'm gonna do it. Until I get to the level where I'm like Mr. Beast and I'm, I've got a team of people doing my thumbnails for me, this is gonna have to do. But I hope you got something from this. If you've got any tips, any insights you want to let me know about thumbnails, something that I've not seen, any resources, get in the comments, let me know. And I will see you tomorrow.